this is part two of building a name tag slash keychain. Uh, we should have already built the steps in step one that would give us a keychain base. This is a long skinny rectangle made out of the red box. Um, we have a hole made out of a cylinder and then we also have this rounded end made out of another cylinder that we joined with the original box. So um, this is step two of actually putting your name on here and there's a couple ways to do this. Um, I actually have my students do it the long way so they get some extra practice with grouping and arrangement. Um, it does take a little more time but I think it's more worth it when they see how things move, how things interact, um, and just the, the procedure of actually getting things grouped together. So we're going to go ahead and close the geometric tool. Um, and then we're actually going to click on helpers. And this has provided a little confusion for my students, but um, right now the work plane is underneath our name tag, which is where we want it to be. Um, but the great part about designing in 3D is that we can actually shift our work plane to about anywhere we want it to be. And so what we're going to do is underneath helpers, I have a separate work plane and I'm going to click and drag that and you can actually see what it's doing is suggesting that I move it to the top of my name tag and that's where I want it to be because I want my letters for my name to be on top of my name tag and so I'm going to let go over here and then it temporarily because now it's a different color um, temporarily moves my work plane to the top of my name tag and you can still see if I zoom out here you can still see the original blue lines for my work plane and then again it's a different color just to let me know that something's just a little bit different now um, so that is a temporary deal. When I'm done, I can click and drag the work plane and actually just drag it back here where there's nothing and then it resets my work plane back underneath my name tag. So again, for now though, I want my work plane to be on top of my name tag and again, it's a different color just so I know that I'm working in a not normal spot. So we're going to go ahead and click that triangle to close that for now and we're going to go to the letters. And again, there's a faster way to do this, but I think the grouping is very important for students to get. So um, at this point, actually all you would need to do is one by one drag these letters out for your name. So I'm just gonna throw mine in here. And it actually doesn't matter a lot. Um, if you get a little extra spacing, if you get some weird alignment, uh, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish spelling mine here. And as you move things in, I like to line them up, but the students have a lot of trouble, so we found some easier ways to do this too. And so I have my name in the middle. None of my letters are lined up. Um, I'm also not going to worry about the period after the abbreviation here, but um, the nice part is if they're all in here, you can actually click and hold and just draw a line that goes basically through the middle of your name. Or so you could have it this small, you could have it this big. As long as it doesn't touch the red name tag behind it, we're okay. And so I just like to draw a skinny line through the middle. And uh, basically what that does is it selects all my letters. And so now I have this box around them. Um, and so the great part, if they're not lined up very well, you can do your adjustment and you can click a line one more time. And on this one, when you click a line, it shows you that if I can clear over here to the left side and I touch that black dot, that they all are going to line up perfectly through the middle. Uh, you don't want to click this one at the bottom because it will stack them all which is not very helpful for us. So I'm going to go ahead and hit undo and stretch them back out again. And now that they're in here, I'm going to go ahead and click on my work plane. And it just takes my selection box off. And I can see that I have some uneven gaps, which kind of uh, is not something that I want. So I'm going to click on my R and then I'm going to use my arrow keys on my keyboard just to nudge a little bit. And I can see now they overlap, which I don't want. Um, so I'm going to push that back. And then my H is a little further away than I wanted to as well. So I'm just going to click these and use my arrow keys to nudge them over. And I'll try to get a spacing that I'm pretty happy with. So I'll move that S and then I'll work on my T at the end. And because of the way 3D views things, um, it does it's kind of confusing to tell how much space is between each of these. And that's why I always have my students zoom in and then again shift and right click or shift and two finger click. And that can actually slide the canvas around, the work plane around, and they can see how big the gap is between each letter. And it looks like our S might be able to be moved one closer. Um, it probably would have been fine without it. So, um, But anyway, there's my name. Everything is lined up. And if you mess up again, that's why the undo tool is great. If you mess up and your T ends up getting shrunk down or flipped around or you just don't know what happened to it, just go click undo right away and it will put it back to how it was. So um, I'm going to go ahead and draw my line one more time through my name. Again, not touching the red name tag behind it. That selects my entire name. And I'm going to go ahead and group these. 
and that will make my name one solid object. Now this is the one confusing thing is because my name tag back here is red and my name I just put in here is also red. Uh, it can get really confusing if I don't change colors. So I prefer to change colors just to make things pretty easy for myself to design. So I'm going to go ahead and click on orange just to get something that stands, or yellow, some, something that stands out from my name tag. And so now my name is here. It's also not on my name tag. And so what I want to do is just click and hold down and I can actually drag my name up to my name tag and put it anywhere in here that I want to. And so now I have my name on my name tag and I can spin it around. And the great part is that because I moved that work plane, my name is actually perfectly aligned and placed directly on top of my name tag. The one thing I would say right now is my name is pretty tall as well. And so this one's a little harder to find because my shape's smaller. But I do have a white box on top that shows the height of my name, which is currently four millimeters. Um, that's pretty tall and will probably break off fairly easy. And for the sake of us 3D printing this, we really only need it to be a couple tall. So I'm gonna go ahead and smush that down to two. Um, and that looks pretty good actually. So at this point, um, a lot of my students were done and I could be done with this too. Um, however, you can actually uh, add some other things to this while you're here, uh, which makes things a little more fun, kind of makes it a little fancier too.